Hey everyone, Mia here from Output. In this video, we're going to take a look at the loop edit page inside of Arcade and check out how to easily transform a sound into something completely new. To get started, we first need to load a kit and enter play mode. From here, we can click at the bottom of any key and start editing the loop. Let's take a listen. Now, let's go over some of the loop modes and see how it affects the progression. On the right side of the loop edit page, we have a few different options. The first one is reverse. Clicking the pendulum icon will play the loop forwards and backwards from the respective loop points. On the waveform display, we can quickly change the start point and the looping region of the sample. The black lines with triangular symbols are known as the sample start and sample end markers, and the white lines with the semicircular symbols are known as the loop start and loop end markers. There are three filter modes available within the loop edit page. Each filter is disabled by default and can be enabled by clicking the power button in the top left corner. The speed and tune controls give you even more control. There are a total of four speed controls at your disposal. From a quarter of the speed, to double the speed. You can manually change the pitch of any loops. Since the key of the loops are automatically set to match the session key, we mainly use this feature to adjust the tuning by an octave up or down. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks videos about Arcade, and if you haven't given Arcade a try yet, go to output.com arcade and download a free trial. Thanks for watching.